Listen up, Doe Eyes. Every married woman has rights. Especially if you're married to a rich man. Don't you know what that ring on your finger is? It's a band of steel linking you to your husband and his bank account. All you gotta do is figure out what your rights are and use it to your advantage. How, how do you know this? And I, 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 why should I uh, be listening to you? Baby cakes, take a look at me. Don't you know who I am? I know I lost some weight and all that, but don't tell me you don't recognize me. This face, this hot bod, are world famous. You said your name was Hannah, right? Hello, Hannah Nicola Smythe. Centerfold, TV personality, national heroine. And let me tell you, when it comes to getting your hooks into a rich man, I wrote the book. Yes, I, I read about you. You bet you have, sweet cheeks. And if you're smart, you'll use what you read about me as your new Bible, your how-to guide to getting what you want. We're birds of a feather. Like you, I was married to one of the richest men in the world. And my sweet poopsie was old, too, like four times my age. And when he died, his no-account son tried to keep me from what I was entitled to. But even though I was going through a terrible amount of grief, I knew I had rights. I found out what they were, and I fought back. And let's just say it paid off. Big time. You got rights, sugar. I know. That MRS in front of your name is like the key to Fort Knox. Mm, look at those two witches. They're at Fox's office right now. Oh, I don't think our situations are, are very similar. You don't know the Cranes. And you don't know my husband's family. All rich men are powerful and controlling. But if you play your cards right, you can beat them at their own game. So, details. Details. Are you thinking divorce? I wouldn't if I were you. It puts you in a weaker position. If you're smart, you'll hang in there until your husband kicks the bucket. A widow always gets her piece of the pie. Um, my husband is in a coma. Congratulations, sweetie! Even if he doesn't die for a while, you can still get a head start on your moves. There are three little magic words that I just adore. Power of attorney. And do you know what's in his will? Not really. I, I know what Alistair says is in his will, but, you know, he's the biggest liar that I know. Well, then you get cracking, honey, and find that will, and you read every word. And if you don't understand it, you bat your eyes at some cute lawyer until he explains it to you. You can bet the minute your husband started to fall apart, his children went racing down to the vault to read it. They probably got it memorized word for word by now. You can't let them take advantage of your ignorance. No, I, I, I don't think that's going to happen. Um, Alistair, he's got to send Julian, Julian Crane. And he's a good man now. So uh, he's offered to help out. Now he's in charge of the entire empire. I just bet he is. The sons are the worst. Who do you think I've been fighting for years? My honey bun left me oodles and oodles of money in his will. But the minute he took the big dirt sleep, his son showed up with an army of lawyers and tried to kick me out of my keister. But I was ready for him. Because I knew my rights. I fought that bass... My stepson, all the way to the Supreme Court, and now look at me. I travel, I shop, I even raise hell at every board meeting. Oh, I even bought a baseball team, and they all hit homers with me. Uh -uh -uh. <laughs> I even get to spend my days in lovely spas like this, all because I knew my rights. You sound like Rebecca. Who? Listen, honey, I earned every penny of my money, just like you have. I didn't marry Alistair for the money. Well, then why the hell did you marry the old coot? For love. <laughs>